take a look around at the beautiful produce section here at the Royal River Natural Foods in Freeport. You might be surprised to learn that many of these local greens were grown right up the road in the dead of the winter. These chickens are feisty, even with a fresh blanket of snow on the ground. Welcome to Laughing Stock Farm in Freeport, a mom and pop operation. Step inside one of the many greenhouses and you'll find Ralph Turner running the show. Rows and rows of vibrant greens growing under cover. In the summertime, we grow over 250 different varieties of vegetables and flowers for cut flowers. In the wintertime, um, we only grow actively in the greenhouses maybe 15 or 20 uh, different varieties of, um, of product. But that's enough to pay the bills, mainly the fuel to heat the greenhouses, keep his employees while keeping his customers who've come to rely on his fresh produce. This allows us to um, maintain our relationship with our customers 12 months of the year. If he shuts down like most farmers do between late fall and early spring, he'd lose those relationships. His customers might go someplace else and may not return. He's going to forestry? Okay. Today, his employees are packing up baby spinach, red cabbage, and various herbs. He supplies more than a dozen local restaurants with fresh produce each week. These boxes are headed to Portland's Fourth Street, Aurora Provisions, Local 188, and the Royal River Natural Foods. Up the road, a much larger winter operation is underway at Wolf's Neck Farm. This is our mobile high tunnel greenhouse. Um, we have sliding doors. Um, we've got spinach growing right now. Um, we've got kale. The nonprofit farm known for its educational programs has designed a custom high tunnel greenhouse where the special solar wrap serves as an insulator, allowing hardy vegetables to grow just fine, even though it's windy and cold, possibly snowing outside. And they're also um, hooked up with these high capacity wheels. So the entire high tunnel is easily moved with six to eight people. And here is the video of them moving the high tunnel this fall. This allows them to plant in patches, grow and move to another spot, extending the season so they can give away the produce that they grow. We're donating um, all this um, to local food pantries. Tell me how to harvest a piece of cake. Yeah, so take the outer leaf, a big outer leaf, and you can just snap it, um, kind of pull it up and snap. There you go. The winter veggies are a little different than those grown in the summer. It's slower, things don't grow as fast. Um, the spinach is kind of inching along, but um, it's uh, really great. The carrots are really sweet, um, kale. When these things actually get colder, they, um, some of the carbohydrates turn into sugars and it actually tastes uh, sweeter. And what's even sweeter, knowing that you're supporting the local farmers and knowing that these veggies didn't travel across the country to get here. In Freeport, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.